You are Locked On Syracuse, your daily podcast on the Syracuse Orange, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Once again, from everything out there, Syracuse seems to be the prohibitive favorite to land 2025 four-star guard, Kyan Anthony. Bring Kyan Anthony home back to Syracuse. But Kyan Anthony released a top three. Not a top one, a top three. That means there are two other schools that are competing with Syracuse, USC and Auburn. And so, not to stare you guys, not to say that Syracuse isn't going to land Kai and Anthony. That's not what this is about. But let's let's look at this from a USC standpoint and why they may have a shot at landing Kai and Anthony, or better yet, just stealing him away from Syracuse. It's kind of a, a roundabout connection right here, so you're going to have to Follow with me on this one, all right? I'm going to try to slow it down for you guys so you can understand it. So let's start off with some housekeeping. Kai and Anthony officially visited USC's campus last weekend. Let's talk about Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a glamour city. USC is in Los Angeles. Los Angeles versus Syracuse. I mean, I've been to Syracuse. I've been to Los Angeles. Look, I I have a special place in my heart with Syracuse, all right? But come on, it's L.A. It's L.A., a glamour city, right? One of the glamour cities across the United States, right? You think of New York City and L.A. That's pretty much what it is. Those are the main two glamour cities in this country. Having said that, here's really the real connection, all right? Forget Forget the geography aspect of it, because at the end of the day, Kai and Anthony is from New York. And it's still all the way on the West Coast if you were to attend. In case you don't know, and it is public knowledge that I am about to say, but in case you don't know, Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James are very, very close friends. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is why am I mentioning that? Why is that important to this discussion? Well, here's where the roundabout connection comes. So LeBron James, he's signed with the LA Lakers in the summer of 2018, and he has been there ever since signing with the Lakers. Well, guess where his son, Bronny James, attended school? Just take a guess. Where do you think? You guys probably know the answer. There was a ton of hype for it last year. I see a lot of people comparing the Kyan Anthony to Bronny James in the hype level. Bronny, look, I love Kyan Anthony. I love Carmelo Anthony. Bronny James had a lot more hype because LeBron James is that big of a deal in this country and around the world. Aside from that, though, Bronny James went to USC. How about that? He went to USC. Now, am I going to sit here and say that, hey, Kyan Anthony is going to follow in the same footsteps and, and do just what Bronny James did? Not necessarily, but that's where the connection comes from. That That's where it is. Understand that? Once again, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony are very, very close. They are very tight. That is public knowledge. We all know the Banana Boat Squad. If you don't know that, look it up, all right? LeBron James's kid, Bronny James, a top prospect in last year's recruiting cycle. Now with the LA Lakers, that's going to be a fun one. Chose to go to USC. So could Kai and Anthony perhaps follow in the same footsteps as a Bronny James and go to USC? It's a roundabout connection. You can take it for what it's worth, but that is what it's out there. And obviously USC is is in Los Angeles, a a glamour city. If if that's maybe something that Kai is looking for, then USC would be the perfect spot for him. All right, so yes, Syracuse again. Every report out there is considering Syracuse the heavy favorite to land Kyan Anthony. But there are two other schools that we have to consider. And so I am giving you the angles or giving you my best guess as to why those schools are still in the running for Kyan Anthony. Look, Bronny James, a lot of people thought he would go to Ohio State. Why? Because LeBron, his dad, is is from Ohio. Obviously, he was in Cleveland for many years. He was in he was with the Cavaliers. If he were to have attended college, he probably would have gone to Ohio State. 
So a lot of people had that connection with Bronny and he ended up going to USC because, well, it was also home. That makes sense. But there is a connection with Kai and Anthony and USC. It is just a little bit of a roundabout one. All right. And also, I probably should have mentioned this off the top, so I apologize. But Kai and Anthony's father, Carmelo Anthony, we've talked about him, right? Obviously, you guys probably know him since you're watching or listening to this podcast. Carmelo, his father, he's not pressuring him to pick any school. He's not saying you got to go to Syracuse. He's not saying you got to go to USC. He's basically letting Kai and Anthony make the best decision for himself. All right? So Kai and Anthony is going to make his own mind. Syracuse is still heavily favored, but we have to look at it from the other school's perspective as well. So that is USC. This one is interesting. Why Kai and Anthony and Auburn could be a fit, all right? With USC, there's a roundabout connection. With Auburn, it's more direct, but at the same time, it's a little bit weird. So once again, you're going to have to kind of hear me out on this one, and I'm going to try to speak slowly so that you can understand me, all right? Auburn has been in the race for Kai and Anthony for quite a while, for, for a long, long time. So it's not surprising necessarily that Auburn is in the final three. It's the fashion that they are in the final three. Because according to Kyan Anthony himself, Auburn actually hasn't even offered him a scholarship yet. They haven't even sent him an offer. So Kyan Anthony has not even officially visited Auburn. Now, he may have taken an unofficial visit to the campus, but I don't know that for a fact to my knowledge, all right? I tried to look that up. I couldn't find it. If you guys can, well, more power to you. But what I do know is that Kyan Anthony has not officially visited the Auburn campus in large part because, well, he doesn't have a scholarship offer from them. So I kind of find that a little bit weird, why a team that hasn't offered him a full scholarship is in his top three. It's, it's kind of interesting, right? But I'll get to the connection soon. All right. He also told Adam Zagoria and Sam Lance at zagsblog.com. I had Sam Lance on the podcast over the summer. He hasn't even had really any deep conversations with Auburn's head coach, Bruce Pearl. You'd think that if this was a top priority for your school, that you would want the head coach and the prospect to have a close relationship. Not to say that they have a poor relationship or anything like that, but from Kai and Anthony's words, it doesn't seem like they have too big of a connection, right? Coach Autry and Kai and Anthony, by all the reports out there, are tight. They have been talking nonstop. But with Auburn, Bruce Pearl doesn't, doesn't seem to be the case, okay? Now, he does have a deep relationship with assistant coach Ira Bowman, but again, if you're really strongly going after a kid, you would want the head coach to... You'd think at least you'd want the head coach to have a deep connection with the prospect. However, this is where we get to the kicker. Why would Auburn be in the top three? Because everything I just said would basically prove that Auburn shouldn't be in the top three. Well, here we go. Do you remember over the summer? And once again, I'm mentioning that Sam Lance was on the podcast. Well, one of the main reasons he was on the podcast, not just because he's a fantastic recruiting expert, was because he reported or any interviewed Tyler Jackson, a four-star guard who Syracuse is going after, that Tyler Jackson and Kyan Anthony were considering possibly teaming up together in college. They're teammates right now in high school. They were thinking about, hey, why not become teammates again in college? And a lot of people speculated that, hey, well, that would be Syracuse. And I think they actually mentioned Syracuse by name in the quote from Tyler Jackson. Well, Auburn might be trying to do the same thing. Okay? Auburn might be trying to do the same thing. And I apologize for looking down here, but I just want to make sure that my notes are correct. Or my notes are correct, but I want to make sure what I'm saying is factually correct based on what I have been reading online. So. Auburn is also in contact, according to zagsblog.com, with four-star guard Tyler Jackson, someone who Syracuse is obviously in contact with. So what I am going to infer, and this is me making, I am making, this is an opinion, okay? This is not fact. This is when we get off the facts a little. 
because they're talking with Tyler Jackson and they are talking with Kyan Anthony, I am going to infer that Auburn has a pretty similar idea to what we think Syracuse does is, hey, let's get Kyan Anthony and Tyler Jackson on the same team in college. So that might be why Auburn has a shot at landing Kyan Anthony. Again, it's weird because he doesn't have an offer from them. He's not officially visited the campus yet. He doesn't have a super close relationship as of right now with the head coach, Bruce Pearl there. He does with the assistant coach. But the fact that Auburn is also talking to Tyler Jackson, the four-star guard, makes me believe that they are thinking about possibly getting Kyan Anthony and Tyler Jackson together. And that would obviously rip our hearts out as Syracuse fans because we want that for ourselves. So that's why Auburn might have a chance.